Sorry guys to disappoint, but our video today is a banger. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> On a previous video, my wife box braided my hair. And go check it out if you haven't. Why do you do this? Today, I'm gonna be cutting my hair and put an accessories on my hair. As you guys see, I look really, really rough. I'm gonna go in details on how to cut your dreadlocks at home with literally just Walmart clippers, even though the ones I have is a little better. Any cool hairstyle will look even way better with a haircut. So please guys, learn this, utilize this to make your hair stand out at all times. and also cutting my hair so first of all I'm gonna cut my hair because you gotta have some fresh cut any hairstyle that you guys are rocking you gotta have some fresh haircut but before we get into it we have a sponsor from activers.com so let's get into that and then I'll see you back here Activers.com, y'all. If y'all want to support me, this is how y'all do it. Yeah. Great to see you guys back. So, let's get into this. Alright guys, to cut your hair from my home, you guys only need a few stuff. You guys need, of course, some guards. And you got the clipper. That is a magic clip cordless. You got the shaver. And we got the liner. This is a cordless liner, but you guys can use the corded one also. We got the brushes. Those are the two brushes I clean out the stuff with this like stuff that getting stuck in between here I clean it out with that and then this is a knuckle brush that I always carry whenever I need to brush and brushing is so key to getting your hair locks and this is right here activers.com this will be you know available online for those of you guys that don't know it launched and this is what I'm gonna be decorating my hair with so go ahead, go cop these guys I'm ready for this let's get this started let's go for some of you guys this is a tutorial for some of y'all is a tip so to start off you guys want to get this hair tie Put it up all the way up and make sure it stays up just like that. My hair look crazy. Now, as you guys see, I look really, really rough. You guys see right here, this is before. Jesus Lord, have mercy. I'm gonna make sure you're brushing your hair, man. Brush your hair. So to start off, after you brush your hair, start with the T-liner. dead but usually I would use this to ball this out right here so for this time I may just use this close once you make your first line now you gotta go up an inch go up an inch with it open so you open it go up an inch as you guys can see I'm flicking it you have to make sure you flick your head okay for a corner once if you guys can't hit it it's because of the direction that it's growing so go against it just like so, be careful with your eyebrows because you might end up. I'll just show you one side since I'm rushing right now. This is going to be like a 20 minute cut. I left these ones in dark mode because I'm going to end up lining up earlier. And you want your liner to be automatically dark without enhancement on it. So that's a pro tip right there. Be mindful that we are going for a high top, so that's why it looks really high. It's going up an inch, an actual inch, not a fake inch. Because somebody, people be like, you know, going up an inch and then they just go like half an inch. Like they be capping. Now with the one guard, just say one right there. Open, lever open. This is closed. When it gets tighter to the, the teeth goes all the way up front, is closed. Whenever it goes away from it, it's open. So it's open right now. When it's open like this, with the one guard, I can even hit this darker spot because you don't want it taller than a, really a one. One is dark enough, you know? So don't worry about it. If you don't hit it, that's fine. If you hit it, that's fine also. So don't don't stress about this lineup now. Mm 
One of the best advice that I can give you is for every cut that you do, trying to perfect something. So right, right now you might be perfecting brushing. So you know, start off that way. So don't try to perfect everything that I'm telling you. Perfect one thing at a time. Or even if you watch 360 GZ, whatever it is, don't try to take all the you know advices and trying to use it on one cut that you do. Simplify it, use one objective to get to the end of that objective, and then later on up, update and upgrade and keep leveling up on your cuts. That's how I got to where I got, even I'm not you know the best cutter and I'm rushing right now too. Like I used to be too much, like this is too much and time consuming. And it was because I was trying to perfect everything, every single thing, you know? So now I learned that, you know, you can't be perfect at everything. Just do the best that you can. So right here, as you guys can see, there's a bulk right there. So that's why I'm gonna grab a two. And uh, you don't want the, God dang it. You don't want the two to be open uh, or closed, meaning that you don't want the lever to close all the way in. You want it open and then it's a two. Making it very simple for you guys. And that's the bulk, so don't be scared to hit the bulk out. Be careful with the dread up here. As soon as you get up there, just flick out. And if you're going up here, just go up to the hair where it's hitting the actual blade and stop right there. Don't go like that. Don't try to do that. As you guys can see, there's a few lines that I need to get rid of. That line right there and then some right here. So now I'm going to use one and a half. 0 0.5, not one and a half, but 0 0.5. So one and a half is or 0 0.5 is called a number one and a half, or number half, and 1 16th and 1.5, that's what they call it on here. So if you guys don't have it, make sure you go cop it, like on Amazon or something. This is necessary, it usually doesn't come with a regular set, so you have to go out your way to get it. Some new sets do come with it, because they realize that one and two is a big gap, and also zero, which means nothing, no guard, between that and the one, there's a lot of gap too, so they like, we need to create something that goes in between those. So they created this, so this is how I knot that line. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna use the corners also. Corners is the best way to not to create a new guideline. It helps you basically uh, hit what you want to hit automatically with easy touch, easy flick. So you might be asking now, what do you use for up here? And that's when that one and a half comes also. So the one and a half is between one and two. 1.5 also comes on the side so you have to go out through out your way to get it unless you really actually get it with the own set that you buy which is really possible especially if you get nail clippers from like walmart or something so this one and a half right here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open it halfway to see if it's gonna hit it too much uh but you want to use it really open one and a half because one and a half and two you know i close the two so that brings it down just right about two one and a half open is between you know one and two so i'm just gonna flick around to see what it what it does but if you want to just start with full also fully open you can looks like it's getting it the big bulk right there what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come against it from the other end. Pro tip also, cutting it this way is so much different than upwards. So if you want to come this way, it is usually you won't hit as much as you should because of the hair that grows, grows down. So I'm going to just go against it. Or not against it, but with it. So boom, I'm done right there. I'm going to make sure this is the same as that and then I'm going to come back with the lineups. You guys should definitely fire me for this. I forgot one thing. <laughs> so what I forgot to do is actually, uh, don't roast me guys. This right here, that hair right there, needs to be hit with this halfway closed and also closed. So I forgot that. I'm, I'm gonna knock it down. I, I just noticed when I turned to look at my hair over here. What's up? Yeah, your hair looks crazy. My hair looks crazy. Huh? Yeah. That's what I'm telling them. I was like, my hair looks crazy. I know what. It looks like. Right there, now see, the blend is very good now. Y'all see that? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing earlier, man. I almost gave you up. I almost gave y'all up for Satan to take care of y'all, but sorry guys. Now, I'm gonna get back to y'all. God dang. All right guys, just got done with the, oh look at this. Just got done with this fade. I need to uh, perfect this one, but I just wanted to line it up before. I just rush it and then finish it up because I need to leave. Just show you guys the lineup of it, the process of it. So usually I brush my hair down 
make sure that I, you know the dread becomes a dread and this baby hair is what gets lined up for those that I have accidentally cut this is their chance to grow by me holding my hair up like that and that's why sometimes you know my hairline doesn't look strong because I help the dread out versus my hairline out As you can see, I'm just lining up the sides. I'm not gonna touch the front part or anything like that. Yeah, remember that? Remember the stuff that we left dark? That's where I see, that's where it needs to be at. Everything that you see right here is a baby hair, and I'm just trying to line it accordingly. Usually you want your hair to end up to end at your like eyebrow. And that's how they benchmark it. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Like I said, I need to fix this fade. This fade looks clean though when I showed you guys. You know, I need to fix the other side. And also, you just gotta keep buying it off, see? You gotta match it and then keep going at it, so. And that's why I usually don't even go to barbers because I know where I need my hairline to be uh, versus, you know, they try to do really crispy so they might end up going inside your hair. So right here you can see a little bit of up right here because of the thread that's connected, but I'm not too worried. You know, line it up as crispy as you think it should be. You know, I can tell y'all all the flaws that's right here to it. Any dread that comes down. It needs to go up, so for the actual hair, that should be at the front. I'm gonna finish it up, I'm gonna put jewelry on, and I'm gonna take you guys to a photo shoot also, because I'm gonna do a really nice photo shoot for my Instagram. So the other lineup is behind your ears, around your ears, and uh, those are the tough ones. That's why I have this mirror, so I'm gonna use that, okay guys? I don't wanna risk it. <laughs> That's the haircut basically it's easy very easy simple to do uh, I need to go somewhere and then uh, later on when I come back of course I'm gonna do the hair jewelry and also for the shoot so hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video all right guys just came back we actually went to church so it was a really good time learned a lot talked to great people that are really really they're amazing but guys yeah so I'm gonna stop my hair right now uh, and show you guys what it looks like I have it in a ponytail it's not a crazy ponytail but it just looks like I have like little to few dreads but when you when I turn around you're like dang but uh let me show you this picture of me with the blue hair man I miss it looks really amazing but uh yeah let, let me get into my hair man I'm gonna quit talking and actually get to it like I had mentioned earlier uh, the jewelry I'm gonna be using is activist jewelry so if you guys haven't actually seen this this is the activist drill lock jewelry and then I have the Saints Saints Cross jewelry. This is drill lock jewelry available only on actors.com. You can't find these anywhere else. But I'm sure if you find it, I'll give it to you for free. Uh, you get like a fresh hairstyle or something like that. Usually it hurts. Just cause uh, I don't know. I'm not. I guess it hurts on my head because my head is tender and uh, you know tender headed. We have that issue, man. I think it's cause we never did anything growing up with our hair, with our head, and never got hard headed. I don't know. I don't know the philosophy behind it, but tender headed is actually like one of the worst things, especially when you're having long dreads at an older age. But I already put uh, Activist locks when I went to church today, just one of them. They're not just drill out jewelries, by the way. If you have like, you know, braids, twist, true strand twist, regular twist, whatever it is, you can actually still get it. It'll rock. Trust me, it'll rock. Like, that's what I gotta keep telling y'all. It's one of the first things people notice when they see me, they be like, dang, I love those jewelry, man. I, where'd you get them or something like that? And I'm like, actors.com, bro. That's like consistent, like, bro, I like your hair, bro. I like those jewelry drill locks, like, or those uh, drill, uh, jewelries, where'd you get them from? Actors.com. Or the mask, I've had a lot of compliments on the mask, too, so. Like I said, I wanna go full out on this, so I'm, I'm buying more jewelries for my hair, I guess. So every time I open a package up, I gotta purchase it. 
not expensive. It's only like four bucks for the Saints and then five bucks for the Activerse. And then of course, if you order anything over $25, like it means like if you get like a mask and like a jewelry or something like that, it will hit like that $25 mark because the masks are $19. Uh, all right guys, just got done. Now I'm gonna style my hair, show you guys what it look like. You know what I'm saying? I can walk out of a house like this. Like it'll look still nice, right? Like I'm gonna style my hair for this photo shoot, but this is what my hair look like with jewelry, like full on of uh, my activist. So I showed you guys the other one, uh, and now I'm showing you guys this because with these is just like, especially if you have like, you know, darker kind of hair color. And if you don't have darker hair color, just put it where you don't have the darker hair color or where you have the dark hair color, which is the roots usually close to the roots. Usually people die after this. Or you can also do uh, the silver locks or the silver jewelries. This pro tip. So. All right, guys, I'm gonna be taking pictures right now. So I'm gonna set you guys up right there. I have a shutter, so I'm gonna use that. And then this cool thing comes with uh, like phone stands. As you guys enjoy this photo shoot, man. I'm trying to keep my background usually white because it's just easier to stand out that way. But I hope you guys vibe with this whole thing. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If I should do maybe, you know, crazy hairstyles for soon. You can ask me to mimic hot rapper hairstyles. I'm a designated day to mimic those hairstyles. So I was thinking about doing it on Tuesdays. Since the quick tip has been, you know, very fun to do. It was a fun series. And then now I want to transition to something like that. And if that's your request, then I'll do it. But this is it. Activerse.com. I'm out. Superman. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Thank you guys for watching this video. But till next time, keep acting the and creating your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Stay tuned, you dig.